Air Baltic pacelsies vēl nebijušos biznesa augstumos vai būs jālaiž zemē. Valdes priekšsēdētājs Martins Gaus viens pret vienu. Sveicināt! Labrīt! Um, sociālos tīklos pamanīs uh, ļoti masīvas reklāmas. Jūs meklēt jaunus kapteiņus, pilet, pilotus, citu profesiju pārstāvis, tur ir laba auga, bonus sistēma. Bet viena lieta, ko es gribu pajautāt vispirms, uh, viens punkts, ko jūs piedāvājat, tur rakstīts ir tā, mēs piedāvājam latviešu valodas kursus, lai jums palīdzētu integrēties. Un jautājums jūs, jūs 13 gadus valdes priekšādātājs ar Baltikam, Kāpēc jūs nerunājat latviski? Because I never had the uh, need to speak it in the company while I would have needed to speak Latvian for my private life, for the daily life. But the company is run in English and it's an international airline. I tried twice, I took language courses, but I think the professionalism to speak the language to the level needed to give this interview, uh, I never reached. And, and therefore I stay in English, I speak German, I speak English. My Latvian is not good enough to give an interview like this in the language because the, the company works in English and uh, we are an international company serving many countries in the world. I'm traveling to these countries and, and our staff also speaks all English. Tas ir skaidrs, bet uh, Latvijā, nu, paņemsim veselības ministrs, mums ir Hosam Sabu Meri, viņš pats ir teis tāds, latviešu valodas zināšana pavar ceļu uz Latvijas iepazīšanu un jāpalīdz iekarot cilvēku sirdis. Tas ir veids, kā izprast vēl skultūru, mērī talpu tradīcijas, ja šāda vēlme pastāv. Jautājums ir par jūsu vēlmi un par to, ka jūs bieži pārprot, sakot, ka jūs esat augstsprātīgs, esat tālu runājat anglisku un jūs nesaprotat, kas šeit notiek. Un tas jums nepalīdzētu? labāk pasniegt savu vēstījumu Latvijā. Uh, I would wish to uh, have a better Latvian, but I think I understand the culture of Latvia after all these years very well. I have Latvian friends, I socialize in Latvia. Uh, they speak English also with me because they know I don't speak it that well. I know very well about the history. Uh, my role when I came here was to take an airline which was bankrupt to make it a, a proper airline and uh, we've been through three different crises and the airline now if we look at where we are today and where we are going is one of the most respected airlines in the world if we look at the size and what has done that would have not been done better if i would have spoken latvian but i agree with you uh, in the country uh, to to go for a dinner here to speak to go to the theater it would be very nice if i could speak it but i don't think when when i was hired or what i do as a job uh, that it is needed that I do it. I think they want from me that I take that company into the future, which I do. We have a business plan which we follow. We've been very successful and we continue to be successful. The language issue which uh, is, is annoying a lot of people on social media because they comment about it and, and I read it. Uh, I'm, I, I can only say that I was not hired to do it in the local language. I was hired to run an international airline which I do. And I think I do this very well uh, also by not speaking the language for example in this interview. I was on Bloomberg last week. I was on CNN and I'm giving more more international interviews because we have more passengers coming from outside Latvia. While full, I respect that this is the Latvian national carrier. But today we have already bases in other countries, in Estonia. We are de facto the national carrier there in Lithuania and now in Gran Canaria and in Finland. So I'm, I'm the head of an airline which has bases in several countries and which employs employees from 36 countries. And so, Latvijas nacionālā avio kompānī kas ir finansēta ar Latvijas nodokļu maksātāju naudu. Bet es domāju, kā skatītāji jūs sadzirdēju. Mans nākamais jautājums būtu uh, sekojoši. Air Baltic finanšu rādītāji. Pagāju šo gadu jūs beidzāt ar peļņu. Uh, par šo šī gadu, pirmo pusgadu, pretrunīgu uh, informāciju no vienas puses labāk ebit dar rādītāju, no otras puses mīnus 88 miljoni. Uh, kur Air Baltic ir šobrīd? 20 pirmais otrais oktobris so as we are regulated by financial market law, we give a guidance for this year and then the half year result you just mentioned. So uh, currently I can say that we maintain the guidance given for this year 
which will see a higher revenue than last year, a higher EBITDA than last year. In the half year, we reported a net result which was worse than last year, but also on the passenger numbers, on the load factors, we're giving guidance for this year that it will be higher than last year, which means it will be a new record year. We do not give guidance on the net result because it is influenced by factors which are outside of the influence of the company. For example, the exchange rate uh, is a big factor. If we look at the change in dollar to the euro, if it moves by 10 euro cents, it moves our net result by 50 million euro. So if it's 10% better, it changes by 50 million. If it's 10% worse, it changes by 50 million. As nobody can predict this, this is why there is no guidance on the, given on the net result. For all other parameters, we go for new record figures this year. Uh, Vēl viens jautājums, ar ko, ko arī cilvēki ir, nu, ko pamanā, jautājums, ko jūs esat teikuši, ka šī, šie zaudējumi saistīti arī ar izmaksām par sabojātajiem motoriem, un jūs attiecībām ar motoru ražotāju vai dī, dzinēju ražotāju kompāniju. Jūs sakat, ka jums ir ilgtermiņa laba sadarbība ar motoru ražotājiem no 2016. gada, tai pašā laikā šī gada pirmajā pusē tā kompensācija bija mazāka nekā pagājušajā gadā. Kāpēc? So the engine issue is, is a global issue with all new engines. So this is not only the Airbus A220, this affects all new aircraft, also Boeing Airbus A320. And all um, aircraft with new engines have the same issue, that the engines are maturing and take more visits to the shops than normal. Uh, on top of that, there is a shortage still coming from COVID time in, in the supply chains globally, and that means there's not enough parts to repair these engines. And that forces airlines, all airlines which operate new aircraft, to have not all aircraft available. And this is a process already going for two years. If we look now at the financials, then each year we have a, a contract which covers the compensation for us if we are missing an engine. And then each year on top of that, there is a commercial discussion each year uh, which, uh, where we try to claim other um, compensation. And uh, as this can't be predicted because there's no contracts for that, uh, each year and each airline has to do separate um, discussions on the compensations. For this year's, we have not concluded yet this, and therefore we showed in the half-year result a different compensation levels than last year. So th that's all I can say, but uh, we are in the same boat than all other airlines in the world and trying to mitigate that problem, which according to the engine manufacturers will last about one to two years still before we are out of it. But uh, you said damaged engine, it's not damaged engines, the engines are going for overhaul uh, and more Modification. So the engine is actually a very good engine. It's just not enough engines available. Otherwise, for example, uh, the Indian airline Indigo has 60 aircraft on the ground for the same problem, 6-0. Um, a Lufthansa group has engines on the ground. Visa has aircraft on the ground. It's a global issue. Air Baltic is also affected. There is compensation agreed in the contract for if we have an aircraft and can't use it. But on top of it, we also are each year negotiating commercial compensation. Tas, ko pa man cilvēku, un tas man noteikti jums jāpajautā, jo to arī sociālos tīklos un to pa man cilvēki, tā brīdī, kad viņi atnāk uz, uz un kāpja nopirkuši biļeti uz Erbaltiku jauno skaisto lidmašīnu, ko, kā jūs pats esat teicis, Latviešu aizdos grieķi uz divām nedēļām ar ģimeni, pēc tam atgriežies māju, kāpja Erbaltiku lidmašīnā, un viņi sveicina dzimtajā valodā, sakot labrīt, cilvēks ir atplauks, viņi sejās parādās smaids. Šobrīd ir diezgan daudz ziņu sociālos tīklos par tiem gadījumiem, kad viņiem jākāp šajās nomātajās vecākās lidmašīnās, kur bieži vien apkalpa nevis runā latviski. Kaut vai Anders Marozovs arī raksta lūk kompāniju ar vienu jaunākam flotē Eiropā. Latvijas iedzīvotājs vizina ar šādā stāvokļu uzturētām nomātām lidmašīnām. Nu, tur arī redzams salausts sēdeklis konkrētajā gadījumā. Ko jūs teikt šiem cilvēkiem? So first of all, thank you. Air Baltic has the most modern fleet in the world. This is an outstanding achievement for the Latvian national carrier that we have the most modern aircraft in the world. We have now 48. The 49th aircraft is coming this week. Uh, and we have another 50 of these most modern aircraft in the world on order. We're the largest operator of the most modern aircraft type. When we do not have the aircraft available because we, we do not have the engines, for example, or another reason, then we are taking in a wet-leased aircraft, 
short term, and that could be up to half a year in the summer season, to fly the passengers because what we cannot do or what we don't want to do like other airlines cancel the flight because then the passenger you quoted would not go to Greece at all or would go maybe with 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 uh, some uh, diversion there so what Air Baltic tries to do to plan the year to come without uh, the need for other airlines to fly but if during the year the situation changes then Air Baltic's position is we continue providing because we sold the ticket the transport from A to B but I do agree uh, that it's not nice uh, if it's not an Air Baltic Airbus A220 and actually this year just yesterday I tweeted about it uh, five percent of our flights have been not conducted five percent on when we do 70,000 flights. 5% of our flights have not been done on Air Baltic Air Plates. To jūs trītojāt, nu es arī skaitīju, piemēram, vakar uh, no, četr, no 61 reizes, kas veiks no Rīgas, 17 pildīju nomās lidmašīnas. Tie nav 5%, tie ir 28%. Vakar, tas bija vakar, un Bet... šodien 30% jūs veicat ar nomātām lidmašīnām no Rīgas, tie nav 5%. Can, can... And on Saturday it will be zero for the whole winter because Air Baltic is doing this in when, it ne- when it's needed. As we go into the winter schedule, we will have no wet lease planes for the winter. But in spring we will again have wet lease planes coming because we already see the future need. The alternative would be, as I said, to cancel, not to overfl- offer flights. We decided as Air Baltic we want to transport the passengers, we are growing and we will continue to transport the passengers. Um, it's, it's very unique that everybody looks at the age of aircraft in Air Baltic because if somebody flies with another airline out of Riga, for example, Ryanair or Visa, nobody looks at the age of the aircraft. We are very proud of it. We are proud of it and I'm very proud that we have built the largest carrier with the most modern fleet being the Latvian national carrier Why and if it? we go and and I think the, the the passengers or the public should give us the time because what we are building is something big we already took it to here which is big and Give us the time we we have 2700 employees we fly the most modern fleet we have a technical academy. We will have 800 technicians, Latvian employees. We have 500 pilots. We are employing every year Latvian people with a Latvian company. Give us the time to execute the vision because we have delivered and we are here today with the most modern airline in Europe, best net promoter score. We have only the, the, the only issue is occasionally somebody is not transported on that airline, but this is not because the airline doesn't want to. This nope. is due to a global issue, Labi. which we will fix. Lai tā notiek, modernākā flota 17. oktobrī no Romas reizes sacēlās, jo skābekļi pro- padevas problēmas lidaparātam, kas ir 22 gadus vecs Avion Express kompānija, ar šādu kompāniju jūs arī pārvadājat pasažieris no Rīgas. We conduct around 70,000 flights per year. The regularity, which is measuring how many flights are cancelled of Air Baltic, is amongst the highest in the world. But there will be occasions for airlines that they cancel a flight. And I think this is very important that safety comes first. Nobody would want to do a flight. So our industry is the safest way of transporting passengers. And if you do 70,000 flight, it will happen that a flight cannot be conducted. And the reason could be that you have a technical issue. And I think we all want to continue flying with the most reliable aircraft. And it doesn't matter about the age of the aircraft. An aircraft in Europe, which has a certification, yeah, and we, we, we can look now through all the airlines, how old are aircraft, this airline, which I run today, had the oldest aircraft in Europe. The oldest aircraft were flying here. I had to come, and now we fly the most modern aircraft. And I'm very proud of it. And now people are complaining if we cancel a single flight. We fly this year more than 5 million people. And while we speak here, thousands of Latvians are transported by us, us in this hour throughout Europe and beyond. This, this discussion I don't see. We have the best connectivity of any country in Europe. 
This is done by the Latvian national carrier. Where, do, where is this discussion? Where is the economic mērķis, impact of this? Mērķis. Mēs runāsim yeah. par to vēl. Mēs runāsim, bet es tomēr domāju, ka šis bija ļoti svarīgs jautājums. Jūs teicāt tūkstoši lido. Viena trešu daļa vasaras sēs nolido ar šo bija ar vecām lidmašīnām, vecākām. Tas nav tas sapnis vai tas, tā sajūta, ko šis pasažieris gribēja saņemt pērkot ar Baltic biļeti. Gundas, how off have you flown, flown now on a non-air Baltic airplane? Ir gadījies. Ok. And uh, how often have you flown on an A220? More or less? Es neesmu neesmu skaitījis, Gauss kungs. Ok. So statistically, statistically, when, if you do a hundred flights, you would do five flights statistically on another aircraft this year. This is, this is the true numbers. Sarunāts. Jūs teicāt, tas ir īstermiņa gadījumi, bet jau tas noteikti divus gadus, vēl divus gadus jāpacieš vismaz. And it will go for one it will go for one to two years according to the forecast of our industry which is uh, Pratt and Whitney uh, producing the engines and we have to we have to rely on the guidance of the people who build the engines uh, because it is a supply chain shortage and it's not an air baltic problem uh, uh, if we look at other airlines mm -hmm. there's up to a hundred aircraft on the ground if it's large airlines uh, and it's all over the world and it's not nice and uh, we are not happy as an industry that it is not fixed uh, but at least air baltic Uh, has sufficient aircraft coming in and we can execute our growth story because you started in the beginning with your intro is air baltic a growth story or does it have to uh, to shrink air baltic, is, is uh, it's, air baltic is one of the most valuable companies in latvia now i just saw in the top 100 publication it shows air baltic being number 20 most valuable yeah. company uh, so million this has been be built th 300 million it says there it's not the valuation which you would take from the financial world but it's if we look at the companies which are in latvian ownership then we're even higher up so we have a company here which is one of the most valuable companies we're going to 1 billion in revenues This was created here with Latvians doing this job, you, run by a German who runs this airline. But the Latvians are building this, and I do not understand the public. Why are they so negative about an iconic airline and an iconic brand in the Baltic states, which everybody is proud of, and then you're coming with some social media tweets? Jā, tāpēc, ka, some, some tāpēc, social media tāpēc, ka, tāpēc, ka katrs pilienis var sabojāt jūsu skaisto sapni uh, lidmašīnā ar zaļo, zaļo āsti, ko visi pazīst, tiek aizvietot ar tādām, kuras, kuras uh, cilvēki negribētu. Jūs atbildējāt, mēs varam beigt šo tēmu. We, 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 don't, we don't see the dream being spoiled, because Labi. globally the airline globally has the highest respect, and this is the Latvian airline which has that respect. Jūs nobody. minējāt šo novērtējumu šajā, šajā topā, patiešām ar Baltic 20. vieta, to, to no iz, vērtējumu veikusi Nasdaq Rīga, Rīgas bieži ar Prudencija kompāniju, 310 miljoni, tā ir novērtēta, novērtēta ar Baltic. Jūs teicāt, tas nesakrīt ar finanšu pasaules vērtējumu. Kāds jūsu prāts šobrīd ir? Kāda ir ar Baltic vērtība? So uh, we, we cannot say what the value is. The value will be defined by somebody giving it the value of, of buying shares, for example. So if we would go to the stock exchange, uh, do an IPO, then we would see the value of the airline, but we cannot say what is the value. But there is more than the 300 million, I think, the value, the monetary value, because you have the value of having 2,600 high qualified jobs, you have 49 modern aircraft mm -hmm. flying, you have a GDP impact. So the value to the country of this airline is of course much bigger than 300 million but i'm very happy that the, that if we look at some statistics that somebody gives it this value we will see when we do the ipo uh, what value uh, the company will have um, let's see but the value in the future of the company if we follow the business plan and we are doubling in size uh, will be significant higher this we already know because investors would not invest in something which is not increasing in value so i think we are on a very good track uh, this this airline is not building something or trying to build something it is here today it is flying and it is larger than it was and it has a very nice uh, vision to go forward uh, we just execute it but i i like it that uh, there's uh, outside uh, people who do a good 
valuation and, and bring things together and then they say it's 310 mi 10 million. Uh, that valuation is done in a methodology um, which we, c we can follow that methodology but it is not the valuation you would get from the capital markets. Varbūt proaktīvs jautājums, bet šai pašā sarakstā bija vēl viena aviokompānija Smartlinks Airlines, kas ir privāta aviokompānija, kas ir bāzēta Rīgā, viņi ir uzapsteiguši pēc tās vērtības, ko novērtē, novērtē šie vērtētāji šī gada laikā. That, that, that is, uh, I, I saw that as well, and uh, it's a Lithuanian-owned company. Uh, which, Riga, yeah. which uh, they, they, yes, and I, I fully agree, they, they have a different business model. They fly very old aircraft, and they fly all over the world. They have many different airlines. Um, they're not, they are Latvian airline, they have a Latvian AOC, but uh, how often have you flown on them, or how many million passengers have they transported from into Latvia? How do they connect Latvia? How do they employ uh, the 2,600? All of that doesn't exist, but I agree with you. There is also RIMI, which is more valuable than Swedbank and SCB Bank. <laughs> <laughs> so we have company, many companies Protest. which are more valuable. But what I, can yeah, what I can tell you that Air Baltic executing the business plan will probably, uh, if we continue for the next five years and looking at the current ranking, I guess that we will be in the top five, pretty sure, because we double in size. The airline today is uh, targeting 750 million is the guidance. If we just add now the same amount of aircraft without improving the business, we would already be uh, well above 1 billion, yeah, and our business plan calls for that. So if we then look at normal profitability levels, th this company will be one of the most valuable companies in Latvia. It will come because we have already ordered the planes. We are executing the business plan. And that's what I say. Why don't you go with us and go, the Lat Latvian nation, with the most successful airline in Europe, if we look at the, the, the parameters, best net promoter score, most modern fleet, gross, we can double in size. Why don't we go together for that vision? Why do we want to have an individual with 83 followers tweeting a picture of a, of a of an old plane and then making making this the story. Are we are we this low? Is this is this all you want to reduce it you? Gausums tā ir daļa no realitātes. Es uzdodu jums jautājums, ko redz mūsu skatītāji, ko redz mūsu pasažieri un ko redz tie, kas kas lido ar. No, no, no the, re the reality is a net promoter score and this is all passengers of 66, the highest in Europe. The reality is outside of Latvia and in Latvia that we are a loft airline. We have sufficient positive, uh, if, if we look at social media, we have 1.2 million followers on social media channels. If we would really do the statistic to see how many are negative and then how many are positive, 1.2 million people follow us on social media, overwhelming positive. We were bringing Starlink in, which is free internet for everybody Does both. coming, and that will again change but i'm pretty sure that there will be somebody who doesn't like it but overall air baltic passengers are very happy if you would do a poll in latvia and you would ask all latvians who travel on us they are very happy this airline is loft it's loft and you cannot you cannot say it's not because this airline is liked by the latvians they are proud of it and they, they should this value is but lapni par nacional avio company but and you should be, because you have lapni. the best airline. Mēs esam be lapni, but you said radio, man, kurā es, tiek uzdot arī nērti es, jautājumu par to, kā attīst tā savajā kompānija. Yes, yeah, it's fine. But Estonians and Lithuanians lost four airlines, four airlines lost in bankruptcy. Air Baltic is the largest airline in the Baltic states. Tā ir. We, we did this. Ko jūs sakat par Igauņu eksperta komentāru, kurš teica, ka šobrīd Latvijas savajā kompānija tiek būvēta kā finanšu piramīda. Tā, tā ir nolemts bankrots. Jūs esat dzirdējuši noteikti šo komentāru. Yes, I have heard it. I was speaking in Estonian TV and I think the person who was in charge of an airline is currently rumored to go bankrupt Nordica. So, therefore, uh, I think sometimes we here in Latvia, we can just sit and wait because whatever has been done in the neighboring state, if it's about airline, has been a failure. Air Baltic is here. Air Baltic is the strongest and now the most important airline also for the neighboring states. So, Again, we should be very proud, and if somebody uh, outside the country makes a statement who is in charge of a bankrupt company, then what do you say? We are not bankrupt. We have 29 years, no mm -hmm. bankruptcy, no Chapter 11. SAS had to go through bankruptcy now. ITA had to go. Air Baltic never went into bankruptcy. We have been successful going through all the crises, 
And now, last time we needed uh, uh, a support was in the COVID time. We haven't turned back and asked for help. We do this ourselves. We go to the capital markets and fix it ourselves. Jūs to darījāt ar, ar, ar valdības yes, naudu, it. protams, ar, ar valdību vai uh, uh, valstu no, 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 uh, Please, be correct. Air Baltic got COVID aid. I think total company COVID aid given in Latvia was 2 billion. Air Baltic got 340 million. This was the last time. This was COVID. This was, I, I don't know how, how much of the COVID aid has been returned turned to the Latvian state, but we are here still mm -hmm. today. We have a value. If you talk about the money which we take today to finance our business, to grow, to pay for our airplanes, this is money not coming from the taxpayer. We, we need, the we, it's it's very important because, uh, because the, we, have, we have issued a bond. That's private money. That, that bond is trading very well. We just topped the bond, so we just um, took another 40 million. Very successful transaction now from the private capital markets, global capital, ne investing tikai, in Air Baltic. Arī valdība bija nopirka bondus but, vai obligācijas 50 uh, miljonu apmērā. With a very high interest for the Latvian state. Bet tā nav pēdējā reiz. Jūs teicāt, COVID ir pēdējā reiz. Tā nebija pēdējā reiz. Pēdējā reiz jūs lūdzāt valdību piedalīties arī no, šajā obligācijā. No, that was the last one. Last time COVID. We haven't asked the Latvian government for money since COVID. But Not you say, that the obligations that are being paid by the government, million to you, you say, that for the bond. The government can sell this bond today and make Prot. a huge profit because the bond is trading at 113. This is one of the best traded bonds. So one of a, a very good investment. We could have placed the bond. We know, knew this later. We could have. The bond was oversubscribed, significant oversubscribed. We could have placed the bond with the same interest rate without the start participant. But the state bought a bond, a financial instrument, which the state can sell any day. So that money is not with their Baltic. That money is with the Latin Latvian state, they can sell it and they have that money. Vai it's not varat, supporting our equity. Labi, vai jūs varat apliecināt, ka tad, kad notiks IPO process un um, notiks akcijas, um, tiks piedāvāts uh, biržā, vai tai brīdī jūs nelūksiet valdībai, valstī līdzfinansēt un piedalīties šai IPO izsolē? So the IPO preparation, which is, uh, which is on the way, uh, is missing at the moment a day that we say we are doing an IPO. That is very important. We have a pre-IPO preparation, which is not public, because you only go public with what you do after the ITF, the intention to float. We have not made that announcement and therefore everything I uh, can say about it is the status that we are working towards such a date. We are preparing for this. I cannot make, I'm not allowed to make any statements of what could happen after that. Uh, we made public statements that we have banks engaged, lawyers engaged, we are preparing for a potential IPO. We are in discussions with a pre-IPO investor, but we can't today, we're not allowed and we cannot say what will be the process after we say we are doing an IPO. Because the intention is, the intention is to do an IPO at the Riga Nasdaq and potentially at another stock exchange and to raise 300 million equity. The details of the process, that is something which is decided later. So you would not find anybody who could say we are doing this or this because it's a process. And, and we have many IPOs happening here, but we never had an IPO like Air Baltic in the Baltic States. Mēģis from the size. She got the Vegas? Yes. The, no, the objective is to do it when the market conditions are right. No we, 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 have, we will not... And, so the factors is our numbers need to be right, our story need to be right, the global financial markets need to be right. And we have advisors, global banks, and we will take a decision to say, let's try to do an IPO now. What we will not do, trying to do an IPO just for the sake of a certain date. We, we made it very clear, the IPO can happen the earliest, and it, this is communicated since the decision was taken. The IPO can happen earliest in the second half of 2024 or in 25 or in 26. And we have never changed these statements. I have not. And therefore, as long as we haven't announced the ITF date that we want to do it, uh, as long as we are in this situation, we cannot make any mm -hmm. statements of when we list at the stock exchange. Technically, we can do the IPO in the second half of this year if market conditions are favoring such a step. 
Yeah, we have the US election, which is coming in two weeks, which is one of the big factors where uh, everybody advises you to wait for the results of this election before you try to go to the capital markets as an airline, especially as an airline which is in a region which is seen from investors as close to a, a war. So therefore, there is a lot of factors and you would not want us after building such a successful vehicle just to jump to something. We don't need to. We can go to next year. We can, we can, we, we can do this IPO at the right time. And uh, I think we've shown that we take very serious professional decisions and not jumping because otherwise we wouldn't be here today. And I'm very proud that we are doing these things together with the shareholders we have uh, in a constructive way. I know that there's a lot of talking about it. I can only say we have not announced an IPO. When we announce an IPO, then it will all be public. Jūs teicāt, ka darat to kontaktā ar, ar akcionāriem. Te pašā laikā, kad jūs gājāt uz valdību, lai mainītu vienkāršot šo akciju paketi, teiksim tā, un samazināt pamatu kapitālu par vairāk kā 500 miljoniem, par ko bija liels troksnes publiskā vidē. No, the, not the equity. We have never, never, never said that the equity would be reduced because you can't reduce the equity. Es neteicu equity, es teicu pamatu kapitālu. The, the, the share capital, which is a accounting, I think now everybody understood it, this Tagad, is an accounting ka, ka tas ir issue, right? problēma, ja, un, un ka tas nesamazina reālu a, uzņēmu yes, vērtību. Good. Took a while. <laughs> lai, no, lai, lai būtu tā, bet tas par to procesu nebija skaidrs. Jūs esat teicis, ka gatavoties IPO procesam, IPO procesam no pagājušā gada novembra. 30. augustā, kad valdība lēma slēgtā sēdē par šo jautājumu, radās iespēc, ka valdība tikko ir uzzinājusi par to, kas, kāds ir jūsu plāns, jūsu mērķis, jūsu nodomi. Kad jūs valdību akcionārs informējat, ka jūs vēlaties samazināt šo pamatkapitālu un mainīt akciju struktūru ar Baltiku? I think uh, I can never win if it is about politics because uh, I leave this up to the politics. I, I, I'm an international professional airline manager, well respected, awarded, and I will continue to run this airline successful. I do not want to get into politics while I want to inform, and I do this through the supervisory boards, through our corporate governance after all these years. We communicate all the relevant information at the right time, uh, and I think nobody no, would come ir, and say we did not do anything right correct time. at the right time. Whenever, dienas, we have an information, whenever we have an information, no, no, there's a process on how we uh, provide documentation. There's a corporate governance and there's laws and we follow these things. But if we go into a discussion, a, a public discussion about closed government meetings, it's definitely not Martin Gauss talking about it. Labi. Because I'm running the airline and I, 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 and I do respect, I do respect the government of Latvia and the discussions which are there. You, you will never see me in these discussions involved because... I'm the CEO and president of Air Baltic. I'm not Saima, I'm not a politician, Labi, I'm not a minister. Es jūs nocitēšu. Jūs citāts. Yeah. Man nācies skaidrot visus aspektus satiksmes ministriem. Ar Ronim, Matīsam, Augulim, Linkaitam, Vitenbergam. Gala rezultātā pēc maniem skaidrojušiem visi ir sapratuši, ka no profesionāla viedokļa gausam nav ko pārmest. Savulaik arī Dombrovskis valdes atbalstīja līdzīgu līguma noslēšanu pēc tam Mārsku Čīnskis, laimdot straujuma Krišāns Kariņš. Vai es pareiks saprot, jums neizdevās paskaidrot šo Kasparam Briškenam, jo viņš uz valdības sēd devās ar četriem variantiem, nepiekrītot jūsu piedāvājumam? Uh, if we look at my time in Latvia and talking to very different politicians in Latvia, because they represent the shareholders, I always have a trustful communication, and when we talk then I was always able to make it understandable because some things are very complex. Uh, and I think one of the most knowledgeable uh, people I have worked with in the past is actually the current minister because he has been in the supervisory board of Air Baltic. Yes, so I would say he would have the best... Yeah, but he would have the best knowledge of the aviation sector from all of them because he has been exposed to it so long. So I would say I do not have an issue discussing with the minister anything. So therefore, I'm, I'm very happy uh, because Bet he is a very knowledgeable minister. Publiskā, publiskā teica, ka viņš I, I, again, I, 
I respect what he says and uh, I will continue running the airline because I do this very well and I think he sees this also. Uh, it is very, it's documented from all the advisors and the banks uh, that the management of Air Baltic is key for the future of Air Baltic. That is a praise I get. He also knows this and uh, uh, I, I do not mind and if somebody says something because there's a lot of pressure, I think I, I can respect that and live with this. Again, I'm not doing politics. I'm not putting every word on the scale. Uh, I have been Sorry here, but uh, I have to say that Kaspers Brischkens, from an aviation point of view, is one of the most knowledgeable people, but we had, with all the names you mentioned, a very successful uh, communication. Also, with, with the current uh, administration, we have a, a successful communication. We, we are owned by the Latvian state and the government as a, as a majority shareholder today, but we go into a future where we very, very likely will have more private shareholders, and we will do the same communication to all shareholders as we do today. We have a private shareholder. He had 20%, now he has 2%. Our communication always needs to be with both in the same way, and we, we do this. And uh, I feel very comfortable if we look at our corporate governance, how the company is run. But again, if, if politics kicks in, you know this, then it gets sometimes uh, on, on the communication side pretty wild. Uh, I think I have the weight and the age now. Uh, yeah, I'm older than most of the participants around me. And with my age and my experience, I think I, I can handle it. And if somebody is saying Tad something negative, I to, take it. Šai studijā valsts kontrolieris pirms nedēļas teica, ka ir tāda situācija, ka ir Baltika un arī citas kapitāls sabiedrības Latvijā āste lūncina suni. Valdes priekšsēdētais izpildirektors komandē, diriģē, kas jādara padomē un kas jādara politiķiem. Not at all. I think, uh, I, I think this is a statement which is not good because uh, the supervisory board is elected in a, in a transparent process. We just had a new one, I think, a year ago. Um, and the new supervisory board, uh, has. we have a corporate governance internationally respected. Would, would you believe that international investors, the global funds, would, after and doing due diligence here, they would invest 380 million now into this company if we would not be uh, top of the notch in the corporate governance. Don't you think that these international people look with a microscope into everything Air Baltic does, including the relation between management, supervisory board and shareholders? These things are uh, very, mm -hmm. very transparent. And again, it's one of these, I think, th statements made which are not, uh, which is taken out of context. You have again, uh, and I don't know but, uh, how much people know about Air Baltic, but uh, whatever we look at at Air Baltic, it's super professional, right? Everything, if you ask people, then they say, yeah, Air Baltic is good, it's high quality, it's clean, it's modern, it has good jobs, it has good salaries. So Air Baltic is seen as an iconic brand in Latvia that also comes with a corporate governance, an international corporate governance, which is uh, tailored to Air Baltic here. And I would my supervisory board is best to judge, yeah, but I have a very strong chairman uh, 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 because he, he comes from the industry. He, he understands business very well. So therefore, uh, we have a good, re good working relationship, Separate. but mm. the, the, the Padome, as you call it here, has a different role than the management. The management needs to run the company and the Padome needs to uh, the oversight supervise it and control it and then there's the shareholder and exactly this is happening but the company is run by the management of air baltic that's correct uh, so we order the planes we sell the tickets we have the strategy and then the supervisory board controls us that they can align it with the wish of the shareholders jūs es gribu pajautāt vienu jautājumu par vēsturu tomēr um, jūs teicāt ka esat vienmēr izvedis avio kompāniju un, un nav avio kompānijai bijis bankrots bet sacevs 2005 to gadu, ka tieši Kaspars Briškens bija arī padomē, kad tā izskaitā jūs teicāt, ka ir jāslēdz līgums ar, un, un jāiegādājās Suhoi, Suhoi Superjet lidmašīnas no Krievijas to laiku. Un jūs to ideja atbalstījāt. Ja arī padomē atbalstīja un nenoprotestēja. Un tajā brīdī, ja nebūtu valdība pieņēmusi lēmumu mainījus akcionāru līgumu, Iespējams, tas būtu noticis. Jūs vēl teicāt, ka jāslēdz līgums savu Itāliju, lai apietu Eiropas Savienības sankcijas, bija gatavs darīt visu, lai tas tā notika pēc Krimas invazijas. Ja tas tā būtu noticis, vai tas būtu pareizs lēmums, vai tā tomēr nebija viena globāla gausa kļūda to laiku atbalstīt šo? 
If we look at uh, decisions taken, strategic decisions in the last uh, 12 years, uh, then the government has always taken the right decisions at the end because the airline today is, is the most successful in its time after 29 years. So each decision taken by the shareholders together with the management was the right decision, otherwise the airline would not be undisrupted here for 29 years. That includes all decisions. To ground the Fokker 50, to ground the 757 Boeing's long-haul operation, to get rid of old Boeing's, to buy turboprop aircraft, which happened before my time, Q400s, us then grounding these turboprops because they were not the right decision anymore, going for Suhoi, not deciding for Suhoi, going for Bombardier and buying Airbus A220, going for single fleet. Lots of strategic decisions have been taken. And today we are here as the only airline in the Baltic states, larger than ever, going for new records. So I would say all decisions were taken at the time right. But you sometimes take decisions, any business, which you later change because you find out there's a better way going forward. Today we have a decision to take another 50 Airbus A220. We might in a few years' time need to take a decision to buy in addition another aircraft Saprat. because we want to fly to New York, for lēmum, example. Lēmum right? var mainīties. Es vēl gribu pajautāt raidījums uh, iet uz galu, bet es gribu pajautāt par strateģisko investoru. Tas ļoti svarīgs jautājums, tikpat svarīgs kā IPO process. Uh, nedrīks neviens neko teikt, uh, bet mēs esam publiski dzirdējuši, ka tā ir Lufthansa kompānija, viena no lielākajiem kompānijām pasaulē, um, kura vēlas iespējams kļūt par, par Air Baltic strateģisko investoru. Jūs to varat apliecināt šodien? I will not confirm who is the name behind it. I have also read a lot of this. Uh, I do have uh, a, a very strong knowledge about the airline industry. We negotiated a three-year contract with Lufthansa Group for the future, a very important contract for Air Baltic going into the future, uh, securing with one of the best reputable airlines in the world business for us. We have a very strong relation, which I have created over all these years, also because I have been 34 years and I have been German for these 34 years. Uh, that's all I can say. I cannot confirm the current uh, discussion who uh, the minister said it is a very reputable airline as an investor. Um, um, I, I cannot confirm anything else mm -hmm. than we are in advanced discussions with a pre-IPO investor. Ja tā ir respektabla abajā kompānija vai holdings, jo, kur iespējams ir apkopotas un, 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 un īpaši uh, vienā kompānijā vai holdingā darbojas vairāk šobrīd abajā kompānijas, Kāda ir garantija, ka tajā brīdī, ja, ja avijā kompānija ir ieinteresēta, piemēram, jaunajos ar, ar Baltiku lidmašīnās, kuras jau tagad, piemēram, viņa izīrē, kāda garantija, ka Rīga paliek kā satiksmes centrs, kuri garantija, ka Rīga paliek kā tā svarīga jaunajam strateģiskam investoram, svarīga, ka viņiem ir svarīga arī Latvija, kā, kā, kurā ir šī satiksmes infrastruktūra tika attīstīta. Vai to šobrīd Valdība, kā akcionārs, var garantēt, vai tur var notikt vienošanās ar nākamo strateģisko investoru? Yes. So the shareholder today can decide anything about this company. It can sell it, it can not sell it, it can decide that it has to stay here. It's the sole decision of the shareholder, not the company, and the shareholder will take all decisions. Our recommendation from uh, Baltic was already in 2017, when we were in a similar situation about a, a shareholder coming in, uh, that is uh, uh, our wish as, as a management that we can please maintain Riga as a hub, that's very important, that Riga stays the base of the airline, independent who are the owners, and that we ensure the connectivity which we ensure because of Riga hub being the center of the, Lat of the Baltic aviation and being the largest aviation center. For me this is very important because we are investing with these 100 aircraft uh, on the base of having our maintenance base here, our training facilities here, our technical academy and our uh, management leadership academy. All these academies we are basing to have an airline here in Latvia. So it's our wish 
that the shareholders secure the position of the airline with its main base here in Latvia. That's the wish of the company, but the decision uh, the shareholders take when they are selling shares, and that is not something uh, we influence, but it is the decision of the shareholder to ensure in any transaction with another shareholder what they want to guarantee, even if they would become a minority shareholder. But we have built around Air Baltic in Latvia the largest aviation system in the Baltic states. We're going to double in size. And of course, we will also have uh, airplanes flying outside and airplanes flying for Lufthansa Group. Yes, and that might increase also. But we want to maintain and, and increase what we have built here. This is, I, mm. I came here to build that. I have built it and I want to grow it. But we will also grow outside the Baltic states as we do successful. But this is the center and we want to maintain this as a center. That's the wish of the management. This is how we build our business plan, which we are selling to investors. We are having a business plan for five years with 100 aircraft, which makes it very clear. Connectivity with only hub is here. And then we have outside bases and we have 30% of the aircraft flying wet lease. That is the business plan. This is what we explain to investors is the story of Air Baltic. It's liked very much. So we continue. All I would wish is that the public goes together with us into this. It's a very bright future uh, we have and we, we, want, mm -hmm. we want to go together. Jūs minējāt, ka jūs cerat, ka satiksmes ministrs ir labi vērtē jūsu darbu. Te pašā laikā viņš publiski teicis, ka neviens pie krēsli nav pieaudzis. Un uh, izpildi direktors ir devis savus solījumus, gan par IPO procesu, gan par strateģisko investoru. Ja jūs šos solījumus nepildat, vai jūs pieņemat, ka satiksmes ministrs var iniciēt jūsu uh, atlaišanu vai, vai mēģināt panākt jūsu aiziešanu no darbu? That is the decision the shareholder can take and uh, that I, you would not want me to comment these kind of discussions because over all these years, um, th this is a normal discussion, I think. I'm pretty long running this airline. I think there's not many yes, uh, Lufthansa CEO maybe or uh, t Sir Tim Clark, the Emirates CEO. They also have long time there, but normally airline CEOs are around five years. I already have a much longer time. So uh, if the time for change comes and I need to move on to run something else, I think that time public will learn about it. Uh, in my position, being a global airline CEO, you are not uh, getting nervous uh, if statements like these are made because look at the media about me. I mean, uh, if you read and follow the media, then there's a lot of nasty comments. But I think in my position, you have to take it and I, I, I take it. No comment daudz jūs lielu augu, bet tā ir līdzvērtīga ar to, kādu cik kompā, līdzīgām kompānijām citur Eiropā. To vismaz es esmu pārbaudījis, bet vai jūs prasīsiet prēmiju par to, ja izdosies IPO procesu? I would like uh, more to, s uh, to go into the way like all other airlines, for example, Finnair, that we have a remuneration policy which reflects a stock-listed airline, which means you have your uh, base salary and then if you are performing well, your bonus is paid in form of share options. That's the standard today in, for stock-listed companies and I think that is a, a positive future going forward. The, uh, the current contract I have comes was developed from a time uh, uh, when the airline was in a different shape. Uh, I think the shareholders and, and, and the new shareholders will want to go for a normal remuneration policy which is in line with the market conditions of stock-listed airlines and that is super transparent and public and uh, I think as a professional there's 700 airlines in the world uh, and I have worked at other airlines. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to this transition. But today it is as it is and it's heavily discussed, I understand, but um, believe me, I do know uh, what I have done and what I'm doing every day together with these 2,700 people. I'm very proud of it. Uh, I will not change. Uh, uh, I just mature more. Uh, I have been very successful. That is seen internationally, uh, also locally by a lot of people. Uh, you can tell from how I talk that I, I'm very proud of what I do and I will continue to do so. Esat lapnis. Varat neatbildēt, cik liels ir jūsu zelta izpletnis? 
Uh, I have a, uh, I, I can't disclose that again, but there is a clause in my contract that at any time the shareholder wants to terminate my contract, they can do this and then there is a payment agreed, which I would get if the contract is not at the end. My contract would end uh, at the end of 2026, so if you don't do anything, then, then it ends there automatically, so there's no obligation to pay, there's no pension system and nothing there. So it's a pretty simple solution, up, which uh, is standard. Up uh, as a, again, I can't disclose it because it's confidential, but uh, the shareholders know about it. And it's not, I think it's not a discussion which, which uh, makes a lot of sense because either I deliver what uh, the shareholders want or I don't. And then if they are not happy with what I uh, uh, do, then they have all the rights to change me. And this is, this is industry standard. Uh, and I think so far um, they are okay with me. I think still today they are also very happy with what I do. Um, yeah, I'm looking into a bright future because what has been built here is incredible. Uh, I've just been in the US, I've been told uh, uh, what a wonderful airline has been built in the Baltic states from the outside. We should read some of the international news about Air Baltic. It does really, it, it does good to me in the morning when I get the media briefing, which is not only the Latvian, it's all over the world media briefing. And it, it would make you very proud if you would see what the world says about us. Is that a policy? Man tiešām ir vēlme un, un, un ir lepnums par Nacionālā avio kompāniju, un es ceru uz, uz, uz spožu nākotni. Paldies, Gaius, kaus kungs par interviju. Thank you for the interview.